Hudani Manji Holdings is an integrated agribusiness that produces feed, rears and processes chicken sold under the Yokuku brand. The Yokuku farm is sprawled over 64 acres in Semuto town, 50 kilometers outside Kampala. The facility's groundbreaking was in November 2011 and a record 18 months later, the construction of the integrated facility comprising the feed mill, broiler farm and abattoir was complete. The pristine, ultra-modern and state-of-the-art chicken processing farm is the largest of its kind in Uganda and East Africa. Call to the 10 million US dollar venture was the harnessing of investment in technology which creates efficiency and brings down the cost of production. At the 4 metric ton per hour feed mill, soya and maize are the main ingredients used to mix starter, growers and finishers feed. No fish based ingredients which tamper with the taste of the birds are included. All of the main ingredients for the feed are sourced locally in Uganda and most of the feed additives are imported directly from South Africa. With 20 ton silos as part of the TFM, the birds are guaranteed the best quantity and quality feeds for that distinguished taste in the end product. Currently, the broiler farm consists of six broiler houses. The birds spend 35 to 42 days in the broiler houses and each broiler house enjoys a mandatory two-week resting period before new day-old chicks are brought in. The first four houses that have been in operation since 2013 have a capacity of 25,000 birds each, while the two newest houses completed in June 2014 have a capacity of 40,000 birds each. This new set of broiler houses are the first of six broiler houses to be completed by quarter one 2015 and are both environmentally controlled and highly automated. Within seven to ten years, the total broiler farm capacity will be 650,000 birds at a time. Before the processing begins, the birds are allowed a minimum of three hours to relax in the waiting sheds. At the start of production, the birds' crates are conveyed into the slaughterhouse and left to stand under a special blue light to avoid panicking of birds prior to the slaughter. Three hangers then gently hang a bird at a time by its legs onto line conveyor shackles. The moving conveyor shackles transfer the birds to the slaughter table where a Muslim brother performs the halal slaughter. Each bird is double checked to ensure that it is lifeless by the time it exits the bleeding tunnel into the scalding tank. Scalding is the process of immersing the lifeless bird in lukewarm water to soften the feathers and ease their removal. After scalding, the wet birds enter one end of the plucker machine where rotating rubber fingers remove the now loosened feathers, which drops into a catchment. The birds are then inspected for any damages, discoloration and residual feathers. On arrival in the evisceration hole, the carcasses are slit at the neck, the neck bone is removed and the skin trimmed. A vent is then bored at the anal end of the bird with a venting machine which creates an opening from where the eviscerate or intestinal canal is scooped out. A spray machine called the inside out washer then uses high pressure water jets to remove all blood and eviscerate trace. Next, they pass through the hawk cutter machine that automatically cuts off the feet. The birds drop into the spin washer and chiller section. At the spin washer, the birds are taken through a pre-prepared sanitizer solution to finalize the disinfection and kill any biological microbes. Out of the spin washer, the dressed chicken is placed onto the grading table where evaluation is done to select birds by weight and separate them for different end products. Finally, the dressed chicken is taken to the blast freezer and then to the holding rooms for storage. 
It is from here that the chicken is removed for packaging and eventual dispatch for delivery to customers. An especially unique feature to the farm is that the water used for all line operations is food grade. It is bored up on the farm and is as filtered as commercial grade mineral water. Waste from the farm's processes is managed through a modern physical, chemical and biodegenerating wastewater treatment plant at the farm. With the STAR and the Food Safety System certifications, Yokuku is the only brand of chicken in Uganda and one of only a selected few in Africa that demonstrates outstanding performance in biosecurity and quality control. Because of the remote location of the farm and despite the tremendous efforts in getting a 6-kilometer power line drawn to the farm, the farm burns close to 60 million worth of fuel for power supply every month. Two 220 kilowatt generators and two emergency freezer containers are on standby to curb power outages and maintain the cold chain. The next phase of development of the farm will see a further 6 million US dollars invested. Currently, the Yokuku client base is wholesale, but there are plans to enter the retail market in quarter 4 2014 with a presence in supermarkets countrywide. With the pace of regional integration quickening, there are also plans to exploit regional export opportunities efficiently. To be the leading provider of affordable fresh and frozen chicken products in the East African region, to supersede the highest industry standards by maintaining consistent hygiene in delivering the best value for money chicken, Innovation, efficiency and consistency in keeping with hygiene standards and quality of the product. Your cuckoo, absolutely chicken.